Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another set of interview question. So the question is asked by one of our subscribers. So what he is asking, sir, we have a registration table in that client ID, client name, and yes, we have 2023, 22, and 21, etc. Like months also there and month number also there. Now I need to get the records between 2022, November, 2023, December. Could you please help me with the query? So here, this person is requesting me. So simply what I can do, let me first create the table for that. Okay. Here I have created for five years data. If you observe here, right? Year 2020, 21 and 22, 23, 24. Okay. So overall we have a five years of data. And if you see month numbers, we have it. Okay. Now, what, what the question he is asked here, if you understand the question, here we have January, February and as well as month numbers as given. Now, what we wanted to get 2022nd November to 2023 December. So, within that month, within that whatever the period which we have, right, those months only we wanted to get, we wanted to get those records. So, how can we solve this particular thing? So, to solve this particular thing, very simpler way we can use the first we are going to convert the data into the first what we are going to do first we are going to use the two date function two date function and we are going to for we are going to form the date based on the based on the month as well as year how we can do that so first select select two date okay two date then to date here and then what we have to do here we have to pass two columns what is that year column as well as we have to pass even next one is what we have to pass we have to concatenate right we have to concatenate two things here not pa here because we wanted to pass two things one is month another is another is month number and another is year so we have already year column is there here in the column so first, let me go ahead and explain you the columns. So client ID, client name, year, month, month number. So we have a five columns. Now what do you want? We wanted to fetch only 2022 November to 2023 December. This is the data. Now first using two date function, we can form as a date. Okay. How we can form as a date? Simply using the two date year and then we are going to Go ahead and use the L pad. L pad. Reason behind is using L pad function. So month number, whatever you have, right? Month number, we have to pass. We have to pass. Okay, zero. Okay, how many characters we have to pass? We have to pass as a two characters because sometimes you may get one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes you may get one zero here. So you you can get two characters. So you you always pass as a two characters. If it is anything, is that then just make it as a one zero okay now which format you wanted to do that which format you wanted to do that here you can mention that format which here you can mention that format simply you can mention that year 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 and what is the format year and month format first we'll go ahead and we'll use this particular thing okay from registration then you can see here you are going to get the dates. You are going to get the dates. What is that? Wherever you are going to see Jan, automatically it will consider as a Jan first. Like that, you are going to get the all the months. Now, what is your what is your requirement? You have to get the you have to get the data between the 2022 November to 2023 December. This is the thing. Now, what you can do simply you can transform this. Okay. Simply what you can do here instead of here. Okay, if you wanted to filter the data, what is the clause which we have to use? We have to use the we have to use the where clause. We have to use the where clause. Simply you can pass that whatever thing which you wanted to do it, everything. And then on top of it, you can use the character function. Character function to care. And then you can convert whatever you have here, right? Within that, you can just you can convert into format which format 
like the same format but iphone you are going to use it okay so let's let's first we'll do that within the select clause then we'll go ahead and we'll use the where clause for that simply you can see here now you can see here what is the output which you are going to get now you can see this is the output which you are going to get so using same thing here you are able to query right simply you can give the now 2022 november to 2023 december simply in where clause same condition whatever the condition which you have formulated here just use the where okay this particular thing now you can mention between between what is that between simply you can mention 2022 and november november is the 11th okay and okay just to let me keep it into next line to make it easier way so and here you can mention 2023 december okay it's a simple thing okay now here you can mention start so that you are going to get within that particular dates so now you can see what is that between november 2022 until 2000 23 december within that only you are getting and you are not seeing any other data this is the way you have to this is the way you have to answer this question so simply if you are aware of it how to form a using two date whatever the values which you have right year and month you are going to concatenate it and then you are converting into year and month format okay using two date by default e this format which you are giving the input but it is going to convert automatically. It is going to take as a first day from that particular month. Automatically, it will take as a date. Okay. Then on top of it, using to care what you are dating, whatever the two date you are getting, right? Out of it, you are extracting year after that, hyphen and month you are extracting. So automatically, what is going to happen? Whatever the value which you are passing, right? Same similar format, which is going to generate the output with this particular entire functions okay so you using between within the range of values you can pass it so here starting range is 2022 11 and 2023 12 okay within that you will be able to get the data it's a very simple just you can go through the two date and two care functions it's easy and you can go through the this particular formats okay we have a n number of formats so you check it out okay how many formats are there so it's a very lengthy to explain everything here so you can go ahead and you can check to date and to cap by using these functions it's very easy to calculate it and you will be able to query thank you guys and please share and subscribe the channel thank you